Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you how to replace a classic SharePoint root site with a modern communication site. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. Uh, if you, if you, your organization have provisioned uh, an Office 365 account prior to April 2019, that then uh, for the root site, what you've got is a site that pretty much looks like this. We now call it a classic uh, SharePoint uh, site or classic uh, experience, uh, classic page experience. Uh, and obviously, this is not how we build the sites uh, anymore. Uh, all the modern sites, uh, you have probably have seen a few examples of those, uh, are quite different. This is a modern communication site. Um, just a few examples for you. Uh, here of uh, different types of sites. Here is a modern team site, uh, etc. Now, uh, the root site, however, even though all the new sites you will be creating uh, are modern, uh, the root site uh, would still be stuck uh, in this uh, classic uh, look and feel. All right. Again, this only applies, uh, you know, to you if your organization um, opened uh, Office 365 account prior to April 2019. After April 2019, uh, all the new accounts uh, within Office 365 they actually have a communication site template, uh, which is uh, this template right here by default, and you can obviously utilize the uh, root site, um, you know, as maybe the main uh, home site of your internet. Uh, however, you know, the problem uh, we have here, we cannot really utilize this root site. And the root site is usually pretty kind of uh, attractive, uh, um, uh, you know, URL, right? Because it's very easy to remember, right? It's uh, usually your domain name and .sharepoint.com, all right? Uh, and, you know, all the modern sites, of course, right? Uh, they have this forward slash sites or teams suffix with the uh, site name after this. So. Um, the, there is always a strong desire to utilize the root site as um, kind of the main, uh, you know, communication site as the main uh, home site. Uh, but unfortunately, because it's a classic site, uh, we cannot really um, util do that, utilize that, because uh, classic sites cannot be really hub sites, and obviously they, um, you know, don't do not have all the uh, look and feel advantages of the of the modern site. Luckily, we have a fix now uh, for that. Uh, and actually, the fix has been uh, there for a while. Uh, Microsoft has implemented uh, the feature, the ability to replace the root site, uh, the, the classic site with the modern equivalent. Now, in the past, up until recently, this was only possible uh, through uh, uh, PowerShell and custom code. But you know me, I'm uh, an out-of-the-box kind of guy. Uh, my IQ is not high enough to utilize PowerShell. So luckily, we now have the out-of-the-box uh, feature uh, essentially available to us through the user interface uh, where we can pretty much take uh, the classic site and replace it with a modern uh, communication site. So let me walk you through that. Uh, obviously, this is something that can only be done by uh, administrators. So uh, we navigate to the uh, admin center. And you need to navigate. We're going to navigate. This is an Office 365 admin center. We're going to navigate to SharePoint admin center. All right. Uh, now, the way it works is that you first <clears throat> need to create uh, a new communication site. All right. And then the way it works, you pretty much replace the old classic site with the new site. Uh, all right. Uh, and the, the old site uh, becomes kind of uh, an archive. It's actually not deleted. It just uh, moved to a different URL as, uh, as an archive. Uh, so what we need to do, step number one, you just need to create a brand new uh, site that will serve as your main home site. Again, we don't really worry about the, uh, the URL at this point uh, because uh, we are going to get uh, the uh, pretty much the root URL, all right, this nice and short URL over here. Uh, so let me go back. Uh, let's hit create. Uh, now, here's the deal. Um, the When you uh, replace the root site with another site, uh, there are a few limitations. You cannot replace the root site with a team site that's part of an Office 365 group. If you have a team site, if you use other options, right, uh, and uh, create a team site that's not connected to the group, you can utilize it for the root. You cannot, however, utilize the uh, team site that's part of the group. 
all right? Uh, another limitation, uh, you cannot uh, replace the root site, the classic root site with the hub site. So if you site, if you register to your site as a hub, um, can do it, all right? So it's always the best uh, bet to pretty much uh, create a, a new communication site. And I think this makes sense, right? Because for the main site, for the kind of the main landing page, uh, if you will, you do want this nice, you know, white screen uh, layout uh, that the communication site offers to us. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I am going to uh, create uh, a name uh, for the, give it a name. Uh, again, don't worry about the URL that we're getting here. This is temporary. Uh, we're essentially going to, uh, you know, move the site to the root URL later. Uh, of course, I'm going to make myself an admin. Here we go. And let's click finish. And we just need to wait till uh, uh, the site is created. Here we go. It's been created. Let's find it uh, right here. All right. Here we go. I'm going to click on the site. Perfect. So uh, what we need to do now is, I mean, you obviously will want to utilize this as a hub and register it as a hub, but we can't do it yet. Uh, why? Because, um, uh, because yeah, we, when we uh, replace the root with a, with a site, it cannot be a hub. All right, we need to do it later. So for now, all we're going to do is just copy the URL. We'll need it in a second. And then we need to find our classic uh, site in here. Uh, obviously, all the modern ones have the suffix. Uh, the classic one, uh, here it is right here. This is the classic site I have. And by the way, if you have lots of sites, the easy way to find it would be to filter by uh, the uh, template. Right, we, we need the one with a classic experience. Here we go. So again, here is my uh, classic site. And what you need to do is just click the checkbox and hit the replace site. You see replace site over here? Uh, this is only something you're going to get uh, for root site. If I were to choose, uh, I don't know, uh, another site over here, uh, another URL, uh, I do not get the replace uh, button, replace the site button. This is only available for the root site. Here we go. And again, uh, what the process is we, we just need to supply the URL. Uh, again, it cannot be, it actually gives you the warning. Uh, it cannot be a, a team site connected to the group uh, and it cannot be a hub uh, site. Uh, all right, so um, we, we are fine with those because we obviously followed uh, the instructions. So I'm just going to paste the URL of my, uh, of my site that I want to move to the root. And it just gives me a confirmation that, uh, yes, we are OK. We can use the site as a root. And then it just tells us over here that uh, the current root uh, will be moved uh, to this archive site. So the, the, you know, the team site that we have here essentially will be moved to this new uh, URL, to this uh, archive URL. So in case if you're missing on the classic look and feel, you can go then check it out. Uh, all right, let's proceed. You just click save, and uh, right now, essentially, what's happening? It's uh, doing it going through. Uh, it's doing the replacement. Uh, shouldn't take long. Let me actually uh, refresh uh, the screen uh, over here, and uh, let's see what just happened. Look at this. Um, here is my root site uh, again over here. You see the URL, but uh, it actually got uh, the um, the uh, site name uh, from that new communication site we created. So if I click on my root site now, uh, look at what just happened. I have the uh, root uh, address uh, without any uh, uh, suffixes or anything like that, uh, nice and clean. And here is my new communication site that we used to have uh, that we created um, uh, just uh, a minute ago. Uh, and it now took over the root. So right now, anyone who navigates to the root site will obviously um, be able to see this, uh, uh, this beautiful communication site. And of course, now you can customize this uh, site. Uh, you can now register it as a hub, uh, connect uh, you know, all the other sites to the hub, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, now let's see what happened to, the, um, uh, to our old site. I remember we, it, it, it was not actually deleted. It, it got moved to uh, archive. Uh, and let's uh, find it. It should be somewhere in the list, but uh, because I remember that archive was one of the, um, um, you know, one of the words or keywords in the name. Uh, here it is, right here, right here. All right. So the old site uh, was not really deleted. It was just moved uh, to this address over here. And I guess you see it puts a timestamp 
um, next to uh, archive. So you at least you know when uh, you did uh, perform the separation. So I'm going to click on that just to show it to you. And here it is. Here is my old team site. Of course, now it's sitting on the uh, on this uh, as a separate site collection uh, on this address. All right. So uh, nice and easy. Hopefully you learned something new today. And uh, I think um, uh, this is a great trick. Uh, all right, because I think this is. Uh, uh, a feature that uh, now will allow us to uh, take advantage of that uh, root site, uh, which does have uh, the, the cleanest address and easy to remember address. Uh, and um, you will be able now to utilize it for uh, for your home sites and uh, hub sites, etc. All right, uh, thank you very much. Uh, as always, uh, we'll be happy to see you on my YouTube channel, uh, as well as my blog, sharepointmaven.com. Thank you and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.